Hi boys and girls. Welcome to Cubbies. I'm Miss Pedro Cubby Leader. Today we are on Bear Hug Lesson 2 and our Bible verse is Romans 5 8. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. Have you practiced that this week? Let's say it together, okay? Romans 5 8. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. Very good. All right, we're going to learn more about that. But first, we're going to play Where's Cubby Bear? Well, boys and girls, you know what this picture is a picture of? It is a picture of a dance. I didn't know Cubby Bear liked to dance. Did you? Do you like to dance too? It looks like a lot of fun. Have any of you found Cubby Bear yet? Hmm, let's see where he's hiding today. Are you ready? There he is. Did he trick you guys or did you guys find him this week? Good job. All right, now it's time for Cubby and his friends. Hi, Cubbies. I wonder how our friend Cubby Bear is doing today. Are you ready to see him? Let's count to three. One, two, three. Cubby Bear. Hi, boys and girls. Cubby, is something wrong with your nose? Yeah, I got stung by a bee today. Mm. A bee? Oh no, what happened? Well, Timothy and I decided to search the farm to find all the things that start with the letter C. We found toy cars in Timothy's room, a picture of a castle in the living room. Well, I still don't understand. How'd you hurt your nose? While we were outside looking for things that begin with C, I got really hungry. I remembered one of my favorite C words, a comb. Do you mean a comb that you use in your hair? No, a honeycomb. Oh. I remembered the beehive we found near the apple orchard, and bees make honeycombs in their hives. Everybody knows that when you find a honeycomb, you will surely find some yummy honey. Mm. Timothy and I walked to the orchard near the beehive. We tried to be quiet. <laughs> I reminded Cubby and Timothy to stay away from the beehive where they might get stung. Timothy and I tried to be careful. We thought the bees were away visiting flowers on the farm. We tiptoed to the hive, but then we saw the bees were still home. They came out of their hives and one of the bees stung me right on the nose. Aw, I'm so sorry, Cubby. That's okay. It doesn't hurt anymore. Timothy put medicine and a bandage on my nose, and I licked Cubby Bear's paws to cheer him up. Well, I'm glad you have Timothy and Katie, Collie, to help you feel better. <laughs> I am too. Timothy says he is happy to have a great friend like me, even though sometimes I like honey a little too much, mm -hmm. and I get us in trouble. And I'm glad to have you for a friend, Cubby, even though you don't always listen to me. And you both have a good friend, Timothy, who loves you. Boys and girls, can you say goodbye to Cubby and Katie Collie? Bye. Well, Katie Collie sure does love Cubby Bear very much, even though Cubby did not listen to her when she told him not to go to the beehive. You have people who love you very much too but I know someone who loves you even more than anyone else does. Do you know who that is? It's God. Now let's learn more about his love from our very special book, the Bible. Now the Bible tells us the truth about God's love for us, even though we have all disobeyed God and sinned. Do you remember last week's lesson? We learned that A stands for all. Can you say last week's verse with me? Romans 3, 23, all have sinned. Now, boys and girls, do you remember what sin is? Sin is anything that we think or say or do that disobeys God. Now, because we have all sinned, we all deserve to be punished by God. And being punished is when you get in big trouble because of the bad things that you've done. Now the punishment for sin is death, but God loves us and he chose to do something for us. 
about our sin. Now one day, when the time was just right, God sent Jesus, his very own son, to come here and save us by dying on the cross and being punished instead of us. Now when you see this picture, what does it make you think of? Did you think about Christmas? Well, that's right. That's when Jesus came to earth. Jesus was born as a tiny baby and he didn't have a warm, soft bed or cuddly blankets. He had a manger for his bed and a manger was usually filled with hay for animals to eat. Now, you were once a tiny baby just like Jesus, but did you stay a baby? No, you grew bigger and bigger and bigger, just like Jesus did. Jesus, when he was a boy, he loved to go to the temple. A temple is a place where people went to worship and learn about God. Now, while Jesus was in the temple, he told the teachers many things about his father, God, and they were surprised at how much he knew. Jesus was very special. Remember, he is God's son. And that means that Jesus never, ever sinned. He never disobeyed his parents. He never fought with his brothers or sisters. And as a man, Jesus showed love to all people. Do you remember this picture? When he was out talking to the people and telling them about God his Father? He loved all the people from the oldest people down to the tiniest little babies and he was very happy to have children near him. He loved them all very much. Now many people loved Jesus too but some men did not like Jesus at all. They did not believe that Jesus is God's son and those men took Jesus and hurt him and put him on a cross. Now because Jesus is God's son he could have stopped them but he didn't. He chose to die on the cross for our sins. He was punished for us so that we wouldn't have to be punished for our sins. Now it was very hard for Jesus to die on the cross, but he did it because he loves us very, very much. Now boys and girls, do you see the letter C on your cubby vest? That C stands for Christ. And that's our Bible verse today is Romans 5, 8. While we were sinners, Christ died for us. Now after Jesus died, his friends put his body in a tomb, which is like a cave that's inside of a, a big rock. And his friends were very sad that Jesus died and soldiers put a large stone over the opening to cover it up and three days passed by. Can you count with me days? Let's count three days. One day, two days, three days. Now I'm glad this is not the end of our story because on day three something happened. Do you know what happened, boys and girls? Jesus came back to life again. He did not stay dead. And his friends were so happy that he was alive, they praised God and told everyone, Jesus is alive. Now soon it was time for Jesus to go back to his father. And before Jesus went back up to heaven, he told his friends that he would come back one day and take us to heaven to be with him too. Now those who trust in Jesus as their savior and who believe that he died on the cross for their sins and came back to life again, can one day live in heaven with Jesus. And heaven will be a happy and safe and more fun than you can imagine kind of place and we will love and serve Jesus there forever. Won't that be an amazing day? I can't wait for that day when Jesus comes back and takes us to heaven. And we're going to learn 
a song about how much Jesus loved us. Do you know what this is a picture of, boys and girls? It's a picture of an ocean. And do you see the ocean is very deep and very wide? And when you see an ocean, I want you to think about how deep and wide God's love for us is. And that's our song today. We're going to sing deep and wide. And the motions go, well, we should go really deep and really wide, but then you can't see my hands anymore. So I'm going to make my hands like this. But you can make your hands deep and wide. And then the song goes, there's a fountain flowing, and we're going to make like, like ocean waves. Can you go up and down like ocean waves? Flowing deep and wide. All right, let's sing our song. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. One more time. Deep and wide, Deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Good job, boys and girls. Okay, practice your verses, and I will see you next week. Bye.